Hey there, it's Tiffany. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I do all sorts of budget DIYs, thrift flips, and more. So if you like this type of content, could you do me a solid and consider subscribing? It would also be really awesome if you'd leave a like or a comment down below because it would really help my channel grow. Happy Tuesday. It's Sticky Tuesday. I'm joining with Deco Easy and Kiki DIYs for Sticky Tuesday today. Everything I use in this video is pretty sticky. So <laughs> go check out their channels. I'll have the links in my description box along with the link for the playlist. I'm excited to see what everybody comes up with. So if you saw my last video, I did a little thrift haul and I got this vase. And it's got smooth outside, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to take some drywall mud <laughs> and I'm going I'm to put that on there. <laughs> I'm going to put some handles on the side using this air, air, clay, air dry clay. It's soft and foofy and it doesn't like get hard, but it'll work. It's yeah, it, it'll be fine. We're going to, we're going to make it work. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get started with all of this stuff getting this uh drywall mud on here and just stir it up <laughs> i don't know i don't know guys i don't know <laughs> so yeah uh it's sticky see everything is sticky <laughs> i use all kinds of sticky stuff in this video i'm just gonna speed through this for you um i am really just digging the technique of of using a a drywall mud or a spackle or you know whatever kind of concrete type you know to add flavor to stuff you know add the texture and you know completely just completely change up the the item that you're you know that you're doing oh man i i don't know so after it's dry um it's chipped a little bit in places. I made my handles and you'll see I did not get these perfectly centered. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I got the drywall mud on the ends and I was like, eh, I'll just leave it there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna spray paint it everything white. Well, okay, I'm going to glue it first. So I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue to put the handles on. And then I'm going to take the whole thing out and spray paint it white. And then I'll paint other colors. Yeah. And, and this stuff is flexible, but it's holding its shape. So I thought, well, yeah, I thought it would work. In hindsight, I'm looking back at this now thinking to myself, self, you do this again, do the handles, glue the handles onto the glass first, and then spackle around everything. I think that would have been a way better option than what I did here. I mean, this still works for the most part, but um, probably not as well as it could have. So I'm just, yeah, see, I'm not, I didn't put them on evenly. Eh. There's, there's more back than front there for this, for this guy. But hey, it's fine. So yeah, U6000 in the center for that, you know, for the more permanent hold and then the hot glue for it to hold immediately. Um. And it didn't take long for everything to get all set up so I could take it out to spray paint it. I'm really excited about this video. I, I've got a little bit of a surprise. I'll have to talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah, see, it's so, it, it's kind of neat to use that air dry clay. I got this stuff from Amazon last year and I never messed with it. Um, I have another project in mind that I want to do with it. So this was kind of a, it was kind of an experiment to see how well it would take paint as well as um, how long it would take for it to set. 
and you know like dry into its shape or whatever <clears throat> so I'll have another project that I'm gonna do I don't know if I'll get it done this month or maybe next month um, where I'm gonna use these packets and make something else so they're it's kind of sturdy I mean I can pick it up by those handles so I'm just taking some generic white spray paint from the dollar store ain't nothing special I just wanted to give it a good coat specifically over that air dry clay stuff so I can get my uh, other colors to adhere better so this is the primer layer and I just go around the whole thing and here comes the fun part trying to make it a, an earthy color there's still some on there but I'm gonna paint over it anyway so they're really not gonna see it so I'm gonna paint it and seal it hopefully it all works out <laughs> I don't know why I guess I my transitions weren't working right um, <clears throat> so I'm going to use uh, this plaid painters palette that's exclusively for family dollar and I've got some apple barrel peach stuff from, that's also plaid my mom gave this to me she's had it for like 15 years uh, matte mod podge that'll come in later also a plaid product and I am now a plaid ambassador <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> I was accepted and you know I'm like okay I've had I have plaid products um okay this is art skills acrylic from Dollar Tree uh brown and tan I have other plaid products other paints I've literally had them for decades I'm not kidding and they still work so I mean oh, where are you gonna get that in paint right if you don't paint a lot like I don't paint a lot and if I'm gonna you know spend any kind of money on a tube you know a, a tube of paint and if I don't use it all the time I don't want it drying up on me none of this ever did and none of that flat stuff ever has and you know, my mom's got a bunch of it too I'm gonna have to go read her stash <laughs> so I can share more about their products because yay <laughs> now I mixed up the brown and the tan and a little bit of the peach and the white and this it turned out I don't know it wasn't it was a coral pinky I don't know I don't know it wasn't what I was looking for um, which is it's it's fine because I'm gonna mess around with it just more layers um, is this my final bit it might be I found that I did have a terracotta color so um, I did end up going and, and mixing up some more colors and just kind of going with it <laughs> there's it's about as close to what I want as I can get anyway so I took it outside and used this just cheap spray enamel clear spray enamel just to seal in the paint and seal in all the um, the mud and stuff but it's got a glossy finish and I don't really want that glossy finish you can see it you know really shiny in there so I'm going to go ahead and coat it with the matte Mod Podge to try and take down some of that shiny because I don't really want it to be too glossy so I'm gonna go ahead and slap a bunch of this stuff on here anytime now Tiffany <laughs> I recorded this the other day so What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting my brush. Okay. <laughs> See, I thought I cut all this kind of crap out of here so you're not bored to tears. So yeah, here we go. Nice, generous layer. And I also want to make sure that if I didn't 
you know, if I missed anything with the enamel spray that the, you know, putting the Mod Podge over will double the security of sealing in the paint and the mud and, uh, you know, help keep it from cracking or splitting or chipping or anything like that. So I just go around and give this a huge healthy layer of Mod Podge. I'm gonna have to get a bucket like, uh, who was it? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Which one of you is it that has the the huge bucket of Mod Podge? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to talk to you about that. I need one because <laughs> I like the matte finish above all else as far as like that kind of stuff goes. I could do for it to be even more matte actually, and I'm not sure how to achieve that yet, but I'll figure it out. I like very very matte finish in my you know, in my stuff. I don't like things that are too shiny. And it's supposed to be earthenware, you know, so if it's, if it's clay, if it's, um, you know, any kind of, how oh, what do you call it? I don't know. I'm having a complete brain fart here. Anyway, it shouldn't be shiny. It should be you know, with all this texture, it should be dull, I would think. It's not fired. I mean, this is, this is something sitting around outside in the hot desert sun <laughs> baking and it's, you know, it's not treated. It's not fired in a kiln, coated with anything. It's just one of those. So yeah. <laughs> If this isn't sticky, I don't know what is. <laughs> Make sure you check in my description box again uh, for the links for Deco Easy and for Kiki DIYs and for the playlist too. There's always there's always a, a bunch of interesting videos in this um, in this challenge. I think this is a this is the second or the third time I think I participated in this one. And I didn't intend to with this video. It just kind of happened this way because I use a lot of sticky stuff. So it fit. See now there, it's a little less shiny. I think maybe a few more coats of that might work, but oh well. And here it is. Staged on my table and the finished result there. So I'm using my, my camera, not my phone to film this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the week. Um, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube goodness. Go give all that same goodness to the people in the playlist because everybody here, everybody there deserves it too. And as always, be safe and take care, y'all.